What is up, YouTube gang? Thank y'all for tuning back hey in the World Burn Shenanigans. You know what? Me and D told ourselves we were gonna stay away from this topic, but we 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 a reaction channel and we nosy and we like ghetto and ain't no point in not staying away from this because this is a lot of ghetto in this. I know a lot of people been talking about it, so we gonna dive into it. If you ain't familiar, you about to get familiar. We're going mm -hmm. into Adam, 22, and he interviewing his wife because y'all know what she did. If you don't, you're lying. You know, you know, you're nasty. You know. <laughs> So we're going to dive in and see how this interview go. First of all, I wouldn't even be interviewing my wife. We wouldn't even be here. First so. of all, before you watch this video, if you do not know what the interview is about, go search it up so that you don't look lost or Please. feel lost. I low-key feel like you're less mad because it's viral. And you're like into being viral. I will say that having seen how viral it went, it now seems kind of insane that I ever would have like potentially stood in the way of you doing this just because... This is this is obviously such an amazing thing for your career as well as mine. I mean, I I feel like okay for one, like I get it. I knew you come, supporting. I, I knew you he's was gonna. Supporting. I knew you was gonna come in here as soon as I heard. I I did the first couple words out of your mouth. I knew you would come with this benefit of the doubt stuff. There is no benefit of the doubt. Are they married? Yeah. So when is she getting BBC folk? Because obviously she's going in the career path that she wants to do, and he's supportive. No, nah, no, nah. you should have married helped, a black. If you you should have married a BBC. Then that don't care. mean you want to be with one. So you just I had just fascinated with it then. So well, bro, you don't even know the story behind it, so you cannot assume. That's not assuming. That's what she went to go do. But that's that don't mean she wanted. She got so we just could just go out in the world and just no. I think she was hit up about it. So she I, just, I think. I, all right, I, all right. I I'm gonna get hit up and go and go do it then. I personally don't know the backstory, so I'm lost with you guys. I just know a little bit of it. Then I'm gonna so, go do it. I mean, if you wanna make a how much ever she made, like, we're not gonna state dollar amounts, but even just like the money that I've made off of talking about this exactly. on YouTube and Snapchat both has been kind of ridiculous. And then like you're pl welcome. Plug talk has been yeah, that's a very <laughs> weird framing, but the, the, the amount of additional signups yeah, that we've gotten on OnlyPlugTalk.com has been kind of insane. Yeah, just seeing like how crazy this has been, and also like it's a weird thing where like at a certain point in my life. You're you're scared of like people shitting on you. You want to avoid people shitting on you. And then at a point like right now, it's like, oh, I'm just getting so destroyed by people making fun of me that it's like, you just gotta roll with it. They, they yeah. knew what they were I mean, it's, it's all about the dollar. I don't know. I, I feel like in my first or, se or second year as an online person, shit bothered me a lot more. None of the comments about this have bothered me. People calling me a terrible person, terrible wife, whatever. Right. I, I don't take any of it, like even 1% of it seriously. Well, there are definitely lines of things that people say that I don't like though. Um, when they bring your motherhood into it, that's one thing I don't like because you are an amazing mother. I mean, I feel like it doesn't bother me at all because I just like, I know it 100% does not affect how I am as a mother. And like, if you think that my kid is going to grow up and not judge daddy for all the things he did, but is going to judge mommy, like I'm not going to raise that kind of kid. Yeah. Gonna... The only thing I would say about this and I always tell people, I'm, I, I mean, do what you please. I, I, I'm just saying we here to react. But my thing is always say, like, if you do step into that lane, your kid has to get older. And you have boys in the house. Every young boy, teenage boy, get to a certain age, they're going to go to certain sites that have certain things. How do you feel about your child coming out of the room? Mommy, I just came across your video on the hub. Boom, shabam. That's the conversation you're going to have to deal with one day. You just might have to because boys I do mean, get here. I think she's prepared herself for that. I, I mean, think she's I thought so. about that already. Like she said, you think they're going to judge only mom and not dad? Yeah, I don't know. Obviously, maybe he has some stuff in his closet also that he's done I'm that not, we don't I'm know not, about. Not. But that's what I'm saying. No, that's, that's what that's she's That's a conversation saying. she got to have. Yeah. So I think she went in there knowing that, okay, this is something I'm that just we have saying, to I just find it, you know, I'm not, it's the, the, I'm not here to, I'm not going to talk about her motherhood and nothing like that. I'm just saying if you are married and you choose to go with somebody else to out of curiosity, oh, that's just weird to me. That's I, the same thing as the, the P stars. Like they have families. But that, does she not one of those though? She that's that's something she should have been before she got married. Like if that's what you're gonna be. Obviously, her husband's supporting her. So I'm not against her husband. You, I come. I'm starting my opinion, and I feel like you're going against my opinion. I am like, because it's dumb. No, it's not because. 
That is not dumb. If I do it, you gonna have I a fit. Don't like double standard. I notice like every double conversation I have about it with people is like they lay it out. They they say, "Are you jealous? Are you mad? Whatever." We have that conversation, and then they basically like kind of hit a wall because it's like, "Oh, you're two consenting adults, and you decided to do something kind of freaky." And in our case, on camera. Mm -hmm. So then they start doing the kid thing because there's like nowhere else to go with it because you can't blame me or you for doing something that we want to do or so uh, you want whatever you want to do on camera. It's we like, were already doing it. So right. like we're supposed to stop now. Right. I mean, we already did it. It's already out there. Yeah, exactly. Because, and exactly. that's another thing is I noticed a ton of dudes it. speak about it and <laughs> talk and about it check. as if this was happening to them, but their wives or girlfriends are not porn stars and they're not mm -hmm. like, you know, if my girl had never been naked online, if we had never shared all these other girls or whatever, then would I find it like so shocking that I wouldn't even be able to imagine it? Yeah, probably. But like the same way that you've gotten kind of like numb to seeing me fuck other girls. At a certain point, it just started to feel like it wasn't that big a deal. Now that makes sense. I, then. I, okay, I, he just clarified what he did. I do? feel like I need the background to this couple but, or to them. I need the background because. But he just clarified. He yeah. does it too, so that makes more sense then. Okay, if they they both do it, then it makes sense. I thought he wasn't in none of this, and she just did, like they decided together, of course. But I thought he just went, she went, and just mm. did it. But now that it's saying he does it too, and they share women in the bed. I mean, then they just a porn couple. Then I mean, as simple as that. I, I, I'm curious to know, like I said, I don't know any of them, but I'm curious to know, like, the actual backstory of why they get in the but backlash. But it's, it's a controversial thing, and of course it's going to do numbers, and I mean, that's what they did. They yeah. went and got the check. They, they knew what they were doing as adults, as married couples. Yeah, went and got a check. Exactly. So it was a deal. It was definitely something, because, like, How especially, like, pay? maybe, like, the day after... I had a little bit of buyer's remorse. Where I was just like a little bit like sick to my stomach. Of it was just a like, lot of this. I didn't know what mood I was going to get you in for a few days there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, even when I was telling Destiny and uh, Crip Mac, which was like about the weirdest audience I could have possibly had for <laughs> it. Mac. When I told you I was going to talk about it with them, you're just like, are you serious? Like, I, I was like, why are you going to? I didn't. I had not planned on like talking about the scene until closer to the time it was going to come out. And mm -hmm. then you were like, it was like, you needed therapy. You're like, I'm going to go into the office and i'm gonna talk to crimac and destiny about it no yeah at a certain point i was just like listen if i have to talk about it i'm just gonna talk about it on the podcast i'm not gonna shy away from it i'm not gonna act like it's not happening i'm just gonna talk about it and destiny is probably like one of the best people i could have the conversation with crimac maybe not so much like his first <laughs> thing he said was oh i know you was mad huh <laughs> <laughs> so it's like immediately he's kind of like writing the narrative for me i mean i feel like there was there was times where you got mad at me but i feel like it's part of it is like we were learning each other's boundaries yeah I, I came home and maybe was a little too honest with you, but you were like asking me a lot of questions right. and I didn't know how to not answer your questions. Right. See, that's where, I mean, see, there's still, so I, I, from when I'm reading there, there still can be problems, even though you consent together on the well, situation. Like she said, she's you like, can you still, asked me a lot of questions, but you didn't like the answers. That's so what I said, but like, there can still be problems there. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what I was trying to but say in the like, beginning. Sometimes the truth hurts, but it's good that they can talk about it. It's I'm not, not like, it's like, it's like, it's not like it's something in their household where they're like, okay, you did it, we're not is, talking about it, it's so, it. No, they can communicate. So the biggest and thing... communication is key in a marriage. So the biggest thing in this situation, what I'm going to come down to, and I'm going to ask you as a woman, the biggest thing is for him, the man that she went with, if y'all don't know, everybody know, this man is packing heat. Okay. So your man ain't probably packing what he packing. So you go get packed down but, by this dude, and you got to come back home to But it wasn't even like... But it wasn't for her, from what I heard, allegedly, like, it wasn't even... um. Like, how do you say it wasn't even um like enjoyment? Man, I feel like that's a scapegoat. She said that she was in pain. I feel like so at what point is that enjoyment? I feel like that's a scapegoat. I feel like for her That's my opinion. I'm I'm letting you live with your opinion. I'm saying for my like I feel like for a woman, she gonna of course she's gonna come home and that's like you come home and tell your husband you ain't gonna come home and tell your husband, you know what? He beat these cheeks against the wall. It was the greatest thing I ever had in my life. No, you're gonna come home and be like, you know what, I am a little sore for about three weeks, you know, it messed me up. I didn't really enjoy it. You ain't gonna come up and say. But you don't know the talk that they had before. I'm not talking. You, I feel like you like. You he said the talk before. I'm talking about right now the subject they're on. Yes. She said it didn't. It oh well. It you saying oh it it hurt. Blah blah. blah I didn't enjoy it. Boy, BS. If you wouldn't got if it hurt, you wouldn't even proceed to keep doing it. There's been girls. But it's a contract. That I've seen. Or girls, you gotta do it. No, but, no, it's not. It's not. You have to do it. If you're in a extreme, extreme amount of pain. Yeah, but obviously she was able to take it. 
See, you answer my question. No, I'm saying though. You answer my she question. She was obviously able to take it. She knew what so she was So if I go into, do a scene right now. She knew what she was going into. And come home and tell you about a girl. Oh, her. It was trash. Oh, you want me to tell you? Oh, it was the best I ever had. Like it was fires on the way. She did some well, go, got three thousand. Okay, but are we are we going based off how our relationship is? Yeah. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna get the second one. What? The second one. What do you mean? Like I'm gonna want you to be honest and tell me everything. And yeah, but I feel like a woman is not gonna take it how you trying to say it. Like it's gonna be on some. Oh, you you kind of so I ain't like that. Like I, I well, there is that you know insecurity like in the man that. If that's the case, everybody could be out here cheating in the answer. You asking like the way you float, we could just be out here humping anything. That's what's kind of weird too. Is realizing like see he had to go look. He has the to go whole kill the cat. world seems to have decided that being a cuck is a bad thing, or like that your girl getting fucked by someone else is a bad thing. I don't know. I'm not like, I was not horrified by it. I'm not like <laughs> upset by it. I'm not going to say that this is going to be something that I'm going to be fucking pounding my dick to. Yeah. But I hope you watch the scene and I hope you drink it. Yeah, off. See, you said that last <laughs> night is that you are really turned on by the idea of me seeing it and enjoying it. Yeah. Where does that come from? I didn't know that was going to be one of the effects of this. I don't know, because I, I know that you think it's hot. We've had more sex since I fucked Jason than we usually have in like a month. I got what? an abrasion on my dick <laughs> from fucking you too much. Every time we talk about it, you get a boner, and then we have sex. I know. And I that, feel like you're trying to assert your dominance over the fact that I had sex with somebody else, but it's still like part of it turns you on, like, oh, she fucked someone else. That is the, by far the weirdest thing I've heard. No, I've heard of couples like that's into that, like letting their wife or husband be dominated by somebody else. But I've never heard like an actual person like them talk about it and get turned on by it. Like I don't. That's like that. That's a little bit weird to me. I, I don't think I. I mean, could, I wouldn't say it's weird, but I just feel like strange. For, yeah, strange. It's I mean, strange. if that's what floats your boat, I'm not knocking yeah, it. I'm just but saying I for feel me. Like it's. It, I feel like that's where his he comes in. Like, look, I can still give you what you need. So that's why they're doing it way more than they normally would because she's like after she did it he's been I, doing I, it more yeah. so it's like i think this is his reassurance like look i could please you too i'm your man I, I so think, i think that's a good thing because for all you know that could have helped their relationship if I, yeah it could have it could have i just think for me if a mandingo warrior is is, is mandingo and now my wife i'm not coming here with the greatest confidence that <laughs> that after seeing that like if i go check it out and i'm like oh my god he got a foot long i'm gonna be like <laughs> I'm not hitting the same stuff he was hitting. He in your ovaries, guts. He touching your breasts at this point with that. Over. I'm not even reaching them levels. I don't even levels. know what he looks that's like. That's what I'm saying. I don't know like, what I, I don't, is. Like, I've, you, I've heard bits and bits of That's story. breaking my confidence. I'm like, this little thing ain't about to do nothing. I'm just saying. This is There's something about it where when you when you know your girl is not fucking anybody else, which Unless at this point, and after seven years, I feel quite confident that you're not going to run off and cheat on me. It creates like a little bit of competition in your mind, even not knowing necessarily like how much you enjoyed it or how great it was or whatever. It's still kind of like, oh, like that competition thing. That's like a real biological mm -hmm. thing. Like, I no, Adam, I want to beat it up. I told Adam that he can have anal the day the podcast, the scene comes out. <laughs> Yeah, well, we were already talking about scheduling the anal, right? Yeah, I know. It's not like, like purely for that, right? You get it on this day specifically. Well, I think that is good. because <laughs> A good consolation prize. Because, I mean, even... For all the memes everyone's going to make about Even it. before you did it, though, I told you, I'm like, listen, right after you do this, around that time period, I'm like, I need you to be very loving with me. We need to be having sex like we can't like like this just can't be like a time period you where you're me. like no i'm not really in the mood oh yeah you told me i could never come home from us fucking someone else <laughs> no matter how broken or destroyed i might be <laughs> i have to fuck you too i like them i like the relationship i thought i was nasty but i ain't nasty that they on a whole nother nasty level i can't so is she there's no there i mean unless she's getting into her it. first time or is she going into is she it probably getting into it like was this her her make it like her moment video like i'm i'm so curious to know i i, I can't i can't i can't y'all i'm just gonna speak for the truth like i there's no way that my wife can come through the door after doing this work or not you ready for the day no at all like that's 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 just Oh, you just got done getting your cheeks clapped by somebody else. Just come in the house real quick so I can clap them too. Man, we used to laugh at females like that. Like, this is not, this is but your... Yeah, I used to watch them. But this is wife. You talking wifey no. material. We ain't talking girlfriend. We ain't talking skeezers out in the street we mess with. We ain't talking about associates. We ain't talking okay. about groupies or nothing. We talking about your wife. Your wife just got slutted out and you're about to... She comes home after getting slutted out. I don't care if she take a shower. If she... I don't care if she use Dawn soap. 
There is no way. I'm like, you disgusting creature. Like, there is no way. I'm, no, no. You looking at me sideways. You are starting to, we should have reacted to this because you are just over here just being disgusting. What is wrong with you? What? Because you looking at me like, what? Are you, like, are you serious? Yeah, right yeah I am. You're happy to have like somebody else. Like, um, but... okay, sir, <laughs> listen, listen. See, you about to make me break the setup. So, if I go out there and go look, smash another girl and, and I'm doing a show, I just love that them as a marriage, as a couple, the communication not, is amazing. I'm not like, knocking at communication, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I love them. For Forget, I love okay, them for throw them. communication out. You, I'm, I honestly, I'm, I'm so. I'm so shooketh at how your opinion is going towards this. Like I really throw am. the throw the whole communication out. I can care about communication. So if I can get in the industry right now, like I can go be in the industry with other girls and come home. If you're bringing a million dollars, and I like uh, you're making it sound kind of like weird there, but no, but like I mean, I get it. It's why deny you for someone else? I need to know? have my ego satiated in that moment, especially exactly. given that like I just didn't know how I was going to feel about it, it. And as you saw, it took me a couple of days to like wrap my head around it. Yeah. Do you feel like every day it's less of a big deal to you? Yeah. At this point, I don't. I really don't care at all. <laughs> mm -hmm. Although everybody reacting to the tape, that may be oh, I'm nervous. that I'm may nervous. be like a test of my mental resolve. But also, like I'm at the point now where I haven't even been looking at my Twitter mentions because it's just so much that I just like You're I can't. Like there. yesterday, I posted a picture of Bradley Martin holding you and me going ah like that. It was like a joke thing from like four or five years ago. Yeah, and that got thirty thousand likes and like eight million they, views on the Twitter. Like you as a fake cuck. I, well, I don't know if they like it so much as they're like <laughs> observing it and they're kind of fascinated by. I was looking embarrassed when you posted that picture. I was like, don't bring poor Bradley into this. But you can really see it in your face that you're like, ah, like you were so uncomfortable with even like being in his arms in that photo. Yeah. Which I thought was pretty funny. I have to know their backstory. I, I got to know their backstory when he says like, oh, but you were okay with me messing with other women. Like, did we have, like, did he cheat? Did he, did, were No, they I think he does it too. I think he said Is they share girls. A, a peace star too with her. Like, I got to know because, um. I'm curious. To I'm, I'm not knocking communication or if that's a couple. I'm speaking for me. I'm putting myself in the situation. I'm not speaking for them. Everybody house can do whatever they want. It ain't my house. That's how I, I'm going off of me and they but shoes. But there's two people that live in your house. Yeah, we ain't functioning like that. We ain't doing no video. No, no, don't even. Don't even get that look like, oh, yeah, you would. You, you out of all people. Should not even consider saying, oh, yeah, you can go out and do all that. Oh, but you wouldn't go do a video? No. No. You wouldn't even allow me to do a video. You wouldn't go do a video. You wouldn't allow me to. Would you? No. You would go do a video? For paying me a million dollars. You keep bringing up money. That's why about... she did it. So That's why they right now, it. If they offer you a million dollars, you're going to go do a scene. Uh, show him. Show him. Make me a millionaire in three hours, two hours, one hour. Yeah, I don't I'm know not, how long I'm they not go. Gonna we know. I don't know how long it goes. I, I don't know. Go ahead. <laughs> I got to I don't know. All right. right. Y'all opinions down below. I need to know. If they offered you a million dollars right now to do a video. If you let me do it. You see how I say <laughs> permission? You see how I get permission first? You said you Okay, do it. would you let me? No. For a million dollars? Nope. A billion? Nope. You are, he is a lot. Ain't nobody media. offering you no billion, so that ain't happening. <laughs> ain't nobody getting a billion dollars in that industry. Okay, a million. I might think about it. See, he is lying to you guys. He's trying to, oh my God, he is lying to y'all. You, Y'all know damn well if someone offered you a million dollars, married or not, you know damn well you're going to tell your spouse, go do it. It's that same joke when they be like, you slapping your mom for a million dollars. Everybody. I probably wouldn't even live. <laughs> My dad going to kill me after that, so I wouldn't even see the million. Uh, okay, well, that one was like, okay, will you punch your wife in the face for a million dollars? They say I'm going to die. You're trying to make me die and try to well, get money. We're, we're no. I'm gonna like, die in but, all these situations. But, at least in the sex life, at least I know I'm gonna live. But after. in those jokes, it, it's the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna let D I, you know. You know what? Him. A lot of y'all finna front and say like, I would not do it. I would not let my spouse do it. You guys are lying. If they offered you a million dollars to do a scene or a couple scenes or whatever, y'all know y'all doing it. Stop lying. Like, 